Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to share with you an interesting topic on nanotechnology in battle against COVID-19. Now we all are in war against COVID-19. Worldwide many people are suffering because of this current pandemic. So it is very necessary to develop a vaccine to protect us from all kind of this pandemic pandemic. So worldwide many companies, academic institutions, government agencies and other organizations are working hard towards the development of vaccine against the COVID-19. So in this video I am going to share some of the development done by our great researchers and scientists around the world. So uh, let's start. One of the uh, development um, researchers the, they developed a laser based photon photonic test that used for detecting COVID-19 from the saliva. So in this, uh, this, uh, this is done by um, uh, some, a group of researchers from Catalan Institute of Nanoscience and Nanotechnology, Spain. This photonic scientist I develop a ultra sensitive laser sensor that can detect the coronavirus at the earlier point of infection from uh, from the patient sample within a minute. So this is a, a nano interferometer metric um, biosensor based sensor. So uh, because of that, it is. A more accurate and high sensitive, non invasive and cheap to produce. So this is um, the picture. In this picture, we can see the working uh, working of the sensor. So here the detector work by binding the um, viruses to the sensor surface. So when the light is traveling in the sensor, it generates and a field of few nanometer over the sensor surface. Here the receptors which is present in the sensor that can recognize the antigen of the virus capsid. So when a respiratory fluid or sample pass through it. So this recognition even produce a changes in the refractive index. So if uh, the changes is happen um, which cause um, the light to slightly change its direction of the travel. So this change can be measured and determined accurately by with the existing values and that uh, give the um, diagnosis, um, instant diagnosis for the coronavirus. So there is no need to amplify this and amplify it. Okay, so this is a simple technique. So this is one of the great achievement done by this great scientist, and this uh, still it is in the developing stage. So another one um, um, development uh, means uh, detection method is uh, developed by a group of scientists from the University of Maryland School of Medicine. So they developed. Uh, an experimental diagnostic text for COVID-19. So um, that can visually detect the presence of viruses within 10 minutes. So uh, it is a simple assay. Uh, in that assay consists of a uh, plasmonic gold nanoparticles. So how it measure means um, detect the viruses by the color change when the viruses is present then it, uh, the, uh, due to the color change, uh, we can um, experimentally diagnose the uh, presence of the COVID. So, uh, the, uh, this test does not uh, require any advanced laboratory techniques. So, it's very uh, sim simple and uh, uh, means uh, the time required for this test is uh, 10 minutes. So that time is used, uh, why did that 10 minutes means uh, the uh, sample uh, preparation. That means uh, the um, samples uh, which collected from the patients and from that um, 
um, people are extracting the RNA. So that RNA extraction period is the 10 minutes. Remaining um, is very simple. So the testes use highly specific a molecule attached to the cold nanoparticle. So to the detector, a, a detector particularly detect the proteins. So this protein is the part of the genetic sequence of the unique um, uh, of the uh, viruses. Uh, when the biosensor binds the gene sequence, then this uh, nanoparticle turns the uh, color from purple to blue. So from that we can um, uh, detect the um, virus uh, presence of viruses. So this is one of the um, uh, simplest uh, form of uh, detection method um, to the corona COVID-19. And this work is published in uh, American Chemical Society in Nanotechnology Journal. And so if anyone is interested to know uh, about further about this, uh, please refer this. Uh, this journal. Okay. And another uh, one, uh, a group of uh, researchers, um, they developed anti-COVID-19 nanocoating surface. So um, this uh, done by Ben Gurion University, uh, some group of researchers, they developed a safe and new antiviral nanoparticle so that can um, prevent the active surface infection with the uh, COVID-19. So uh, this new uh, coating uh, we can use in um, many places like a hospital, so healthcare facilities and public locations, uh, so schools, airport, train, because this um, we can avoid the surface um, means contact um, based infection with the uh, COVID-19. So um, how it work means uh, this coating contains um, some metal nanoparticle that particle uh, with the po some polymer, uh, so that have um, a good antiviral and antibacterial property. So because of that property, uh, these surfaces uh, prevent the um, uh, uh, bacterial and uh, viruses growth. Uh, growth. So uh, in this particular um, nano coating. Um, uh, the copper nanoparticles uh, are embedded in the polymer and uh, it is painted or sprayed on the surfaces and which will enable controlled release of the metal ion into the coating surfaces and uh, uh, from that we can uh, avoid the um, uh, infection uh, from these viruses and uh, um, this is one of the this is also one of the great achievement okay so this is all about the uh, okay, um, few detection methods uh, which they recently developed by our great scientists. So um, we will discuss further about the um, vaccine, uh, how, um, how the people are developing these uh, vaccines against the COVID-19 and all. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this information, uh, please share with your friends, contacts, um, and all, uh, and 